here at Game Over in Austin, Texas. What's up, guys? We've got Eddie and Hayes. What's going on, man? What's going on, people? It's Dude, the store is incredible. Tell us a little bit about the store and and what we got to you to your left here. Well, uh, Game Over Video Games has this awesome video game museum. We've been around for about six years, and over the years, we've collected uh, a lot of rare, awesome items. Like uh, right here, we got. The Bentley Pong machine, all eight. So these are all Pong clones. Yeah, Pong step us through clones, this yeah. whole whole yeah, thing right here. Yeah, uh, there are a lot of yeah. them. I mean, um, and I don't think we know exactly which one came first because there were just so many, so many models. Yeah, I mean, sure. there was Sears Pong, Atari Pong, Radio Shack Pong, like yeah. so many different yeah. ones. Yeah. Um, but there were just so many handhelds and Mattel portable games. I totally remember these from the 80s and so, early 80s. Yeah, um, actually, that, uh, that, this football one actually makes a cameo in Super 8. If you yes. guys see that. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, you'll see a, uh, you know, the kid gets his football yeah. machine like locked away yeah. by the teacher. And it's actually... Mm-hmm. One of those. And okay. right here you have um, one of Nintendo's first attempts at doing handheld systems. Like, right. And though, games Game in watch. general. That pop by my, uh, the panorama screen is sweet. That's yes. awesome. Yeah, it is. Because it like, magnifies the screen, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I and ha- this I is had before this the, the Nintendo the yeah. NES that we all yeah. know. Yeah, it looks is... like the DS, right? Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, looks like, yeah exactly. You know, this, exactly. And makes you wonder where they got their influence. Yes. So this is a Defender. I haven't seen this before. This is a Defender. It's a... Yeah. So are all these like people traded in, or how do you guys find all these? Well, the way we get yeah. most of our inventory is what people sell to us that yeah. you know we'll, yeah. we'll buy from them. Yeah. But we can only really pay for things that work because I mean it's a store and sure that's how we get money. Right. Um, but we do have people who sometimes you know when they're trading stuff in they have some things that don't work like this and they'll say oh we'll just take it you know a museum piece. Cool. Or, so people donate it to the con. Yeah, yeah. Or sometimes, you know, we get people who, you know, they come in, they're like, hey, I, I was cleaning out my attic and I got this old Pac Man machine. Can I yeah. put it in the museum? Well, yeah, sure. Awesome. You know, we, we clean it up and throw it in a case and bam, museum. Yeah. Those Clico, uh, Clico um, like tabletop arcade things are sweet too. Yes. Yes. You got, like, you got uh, an APF uh, TV fun. That's interesting where they yeah, go. That's cool. Yeah, a lot of the old uh, ColecoVision, Magnavox Odyssey. Yeah, what is this Radio Shack? This is a, uh, a TRS 80. Okay. Um, it's just another one of the really old, you know, kind of Commodore yep. uh, contemporaries with Magnavox and stuff like that. And these are like the Pong, um, first Pongs. And these are, Pong. you know, some of the uh, the classy high dollar Atari Pongs. <laughs> Nice. Uh, from we back got in the the, day, anyway. the Woody here, or you know the Atari. Yes, yes. Wood yeah. grain finish. You got the four switch like and six other. switch. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. As you go down, you start see some systems that you're familiar with. And, yeah. Yeah. And once you, know, you wrap up, people start to get the Vader. Exactly. Stuff you've yeah. never heard of. Yeah. The Vader. And, then um, the... and on the walls, you'll see all the old boxes that all this stuff came in. This is incredible, guys. It really yeah, is. It's awesome. Yeah. You know, you'll see some of the old posters like. You know, there's a cool Atari one, you know, and this Sonic the Hedgehog Sega was promoting. I don't know if he ever went anywhere. Uh, or if anyone's heard of that guy. <laughs> yeah, who's Sonic? I don't know who I that know, guy is. I know, right? You got Rob, uh, the robot. This is yeah, early. This is like an early yeah, Nintendo. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. If yeah, you actually, look around, you'll see a lot of the Super Scopes, the uh, Rob the Robot Power Glove. Box Power Glove. That's cool. Um, yeah, was it, was this for the some, Genesis right here? Yeah, that's the Miniser. The Miniser, yeah, yeah. That's right. Then you get the box for that. That's yeah, no. cool. And uh, around here, you'll see, again, more of the stuff you'll be more familiar with. Maybe some old Nintendos, Famicom. Virtual Boy. The Vectrix uh, is a cool yeah, system. Yeah, Virtual Boy Vectrix. Miracle Piano. Uh, this, uh, yeah, Miracle Piano. That uh, It was an NES game that taught you to play the piano. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, stuff like that. I like the, the CDX. Um, that's sweet. Yes, mm-hmm. yeah. You know the old power pad. This is crazy. This is like activator. A, this is the pre like connect, this is, right? Yep. Yeah, it's <laughs> the crappy ver- or crappier version of connect. These are wild too. These actually hook up to you and like shock you and stuff when you get hit. Well, that's Genesis. what they'd like you to think. Well, the, yeah, that's what um, they exactly. The rock. Uh, I got the roller rocker. That's yeah. cool. That's a rare one. Uh, we got a uh, signed poster of the King of Kong documentary by uh, Steve Weeby and Walter Day. How did you guys get a hold of that? Uh, well, back when the uh, the documentary came out, uh, there was a showing at Alamo, Alamo Draft, Draft House, House and, and we were and that was here in Austin, yeah. and so 
that's you know right up our alley so we're a part sure. of that yeah cool uh, cool billy mitchell was a no-show though was um, that if surprise? you can believe it no. if you can believe it. <laughs> and uh, also on top of movies uh these guys were in town too oh wow the Simon wizards Park one of my favorite Club, movies uh, and movie by fred savage and and all the, the other, other wizard cast. The, the wizard. You know, here's crazy. The, the guy who actually the kid in the movie who had the power glove with the curl hair. Yeah. yeah. He's a child molester and went to jail later on. Isn't that crazy? Oh. Well, Way to break yeah. it down, dude. I know. My bad. But the legend lives on. The yeah. legend lives on. Now. <laughs> he, he, he used the power glove in more ways than one, I think. Uh -oh. In the wrong way. Uh -oh. It's so bad. Yeah. It's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's cool. So who else yeah. signed this, though? It looks like they're uh, also signed by... I, I want to say Fred Savage for sure, and maybe that, that Lucas kid. Yeah. Um, California. But I think the director was there, too. That's awesome. It was, it was some big was anniversary cool. thing. Look how you on display. Look at this. This is all your, your portable. You got yeah, the you links. Yeah, this case has, you know, a lot of the portables, Nomad, Game Gear, uh, a lot of other stuff most people probably don't know. Uh, game.com. The blue game gear, that's really rare. Yeah. You see that um, every day? Uh, the advanced turned tw uh, 10 years old the other day. I know. Yeah. Crazy, hard to believe. Yeah. And you got the Jaguar. Uh, yeah, that's you got awesome. stuff like Jaguar, Turbo Graphics, 3DO, uh, Saturn. Saturn. Yeah. Yeah. A nice. lot, of, lot of good stuff, and again, I just love these old posters like Toe Jam and Earl, and I love the way the old Street Fighter characters look. classic, looked. though? Pants like Q, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, the Cube, uh, Dreamcast, uh, Power yeah. Pad, awesome. The whole yeah. history here. <laughs> Very cool, guys. Classic yeah. Sunset Riders stand up on free play, might I add. That's awesome. So you have a, like a multi multi cade in this thing, right? Like, yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's a main machine. It has you know all your classics on there you got donkey kong and pac-man and galaga and you know you got like 50 60 the picture looks really there. crazy actually it's pretty good it's it's nice you know just Super here, colors. play some burger time you know or awesome whatever else you're into nice that's cool no it's uh it's good stuff i love the arcades oh yeah 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 hi yeah. Classic uh, Sega CD games here. Saturn down below. Here's 3DO. Theme park. These are in box. Cool. Classic uh, gaming t shirts. It's like. It's cool. Double Dragon. Uh, Painting there. Here's TurboGrafx-16. You definitely don't see in uh, normal game stores for sure. You got some CD games. JJ and Jeff. These are all imports, it looks like. Let's go. You got a Crystal Xbox. It's a Canadian exclusive, I think, huh? Yeah, yeah. something like that. <laughs> um... But, yeah, a lot of 64 action, get in on that, you know, and, uh, you know, we have cheaper games out on the aisles, more expensive ones in the cases. Sure, and sure. All that jazz, all the systems. Lots of, uh, lots of swag, as you can see, lots of the plushies and candies and keychains and whatever. Uh, but it's <laughs> it's it's it. That's just yeah, one yeah they, they recently interviewed Bob Hoskins, and he says that is his biggest mistake in life. The Mario Brothers movie. Was the Mario Brothers movie. That, that's hilarious. Um, like, Yoshi doesn't even look like Yoshi, and Bowser, what's with that? I don't understand that. Yeah. Well, Here's, uh, you got Jaguar CD games look like, like unopened. Yeah. You got yeah, Neo Geo. Uh, Neo yeah, Geo. some Neo Geo AES cartridges. 32X. Arcade boards, 32X. whatever you want to call them. You know, I like it that like, you guys keep it in box and like good condition. Yeah, you know, some of them are right. boxed. Uh, some of them are even sealed. Nomad, you know, $80 for Nomad is a decent deal for it, too. Yeah. I was at a competitor in town, and it was like, they were charging $129 for it. Yeah. So, yeah. So you guys have a good, good well-priced. Well, we, we try not to be the Walmart of game stores, mm -hmm. but we're not exactly like the Nordstrom's of game stores either. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we try to meet in the middle. Oh, well, it's a, you know. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's a decent price, but you gotta make your markup somehow, you know? Yeah, well, it, I, it's a used game store. I'll yeah. Pretty much it's the same thing. So these are some classic, uh, any, any Earthbound? No. Uh, we sold that recently. Yes. What does uh, that sell for? 150. 150, 150 yeah. and it's it, crazy. And I mean, it's, that's what Earthbound was Mark, yeah. specifically, it's there are so few copies of it out there, and it has just this cult following that's amazing. Yeah. And it just has this reputation, and usually we have an incredibly hard time keeping it on the shelf. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's usually you know we get at least a person a day come in or call for it. Yeah. You know and. Makes me wish I went back in time and bought. I know, like just load up on a bunch copies. of the uh, the boxed copies. Yeah. that's cool. Manhattan Project for Turtles. I like, I love that game. Twenty bucks, yeah, not a bad dude. deal. That one better than arcade. In my you like it? Yeah, I, you know what? Better than the second. So yeah, the you beach got some stuff, cool right? stuff, you know, like sealed Tetris, OG. Wow. <laughs> wow. And you're asking yeah. fifty or six seventy? Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Not a bad deal but, uh, for a boxed Nintendo game. It is what it is. You know, Master System games. You got Wonder Boy. You may have some card Transbot. Looks like a Transformer uh, kind of clone game. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah, with rare games, like, people always come in and ask for, like, Earthbound and yeah. even stuff for the Saturn, like the Dragon, Radiant Silver Gun. Radiant Silver Gun, uh, Dragon Force, Panzer, Panzer Dragoon. Dragoon, which yeah. we had last month and that sold within 24 hours of game. That's crazy. Yeah. It's just well, these games. People you know, collectors know what to look for. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's what it is. Exactly. Like every time okay. I like play the campaign, it says, uh, it's going to be the Okay. <laughs> hey, Eddie, what's, what's over here, man? What's yeah, in these guys? This is the Atari 2600 games. I mean, Atari 2600 games here? Those yeah. Are some rare ones, though. Those are the rare ones. Um, some are $100. Well, I'll give it a, um, then you have your seat? You got that crazy climber back there that's 200 which James that? Bond crazy doubles. Climber. Yeah, Crazy Climbers. Yeah. Back there. Okay. Wow. Montezuma's Revenge. Yeah. It's amazing people trade this in. Or, yeah. you know. Yeah. One of these days, we're going to see Get some Coleco. Air Raid. <laughs> so these are all. Uh, what is your thing? 7800 games. 7800 games? Yeah, I noticed that your other location had a whole bunch too that were box. Yeah, yeah. You see a hat trick, Joust. Yeah. And then. Sold out of the 2600. Mm -hmm. Aquarius, that's cool. These are classic computers. Yeah, we got some uh, Odyssey games for uh, home console. Not a lot of people know that. People yeah. always think, oh, it's the Atari, but the Atari, you know, yeah. commercialized, best yeah. marketing behind that. Cool. Yeah. I like the ColecoVision games too, Pitfall 2. Buck Rights and Box ones too. That's the Target 800 games right there. What's that? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, Odyssey 2 is a cool, cool system. They actually Atari suit them. Take this. Uh, right here we have our art consignment case. Okay. Um, local artists around Texas, all over Texas, San Antonio, Austin, they make really cool art and we sell them. Uh, like this one right here. These are all hats. These are actually made by a 15 year old girl. Wow. Just has time, sewed up. Mm -hmm. uh, so, wow. Yeah, big Pokemon fan, as you can see. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. And then we have some some art down here. That's cool. You guys are getting involved with the community in second. Yeah. Look at that. That's I cool. That's uh, a NCC4 um, controller. That's. Oh no. This is that's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Austin's a really big art town. Art, music. Yeah. We we want to promote that. We yeah. want to say, hey, you know, if you like games, you like music, you like art. This is a place to hang out and show your stuff. Right. Um, with uh, events and stuff, um, just next week we're going to be doing a art show for the first time, video game art show. Very nice. And we're sending out emails to all the local artists that do video game art, music. Um, we're going to have it next door. That's going to be pretty, pretty cool. Very cool. And with music, um, Austin's own Descendants of Erdrich. They first it was just like three or four people. Now they're a full band. And they started here, and now they're pretty big. They just played at E3 recently. What's it called? Uh, Descendants of Erdrich. Wow, nice. And they're really cool, and they played at E3. And awesome. Yeah, they're, they're game big. big. Very cool. And uh, not too long ago, the One Ups came and played out here. Oh, really? Descendants, yeah. Wow. Uh, we've had the Proto Men. Proto Men? 
prone and then that's so, cool now so where can people go and find out about your events and what's the best you can way? go to um game more video games.com or if you want you can find us on facebook twitter and be our friend like okay. us okay i'll put a link i'll put a link below so uh people can find it cool and you have a couple locations here in austin right three yes we have three in austin uh north austin then we have a sunset valley at 290 brody and a round rock location and san antonio you have a location right now and then a san antonio very cool. And so these are your handhelds right here. Mm -hmm. Games. Yes. Follow the Foot Clan. I love that for the Game Boy. It's classic. A lot of Game Boy Advance. Good to see. Yes. Which GameStop's not carrying anymore. <laughs> Sadly. I don't know Sadly, yeah. These are got some import games here, huh? This is, uh, yes. oh, import virtual this, boy games. This is our... Virtual Force. Well, those are the import uh, cartridge games. Cartridge games. So you Did you see the disc? Import discs around the yeah, I saw the disc. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we have. This case got so big that we had to ship half of it to the San Antonio store. Um, did not know that imports were huge here. <laughs> yeah, well, plays, you know, Japanese systems will play on US TVs, no problem, so it's yeah, nice. That's right. Computer, you know, we can look you up. Yeah. These are 2600 games, so that's cool. Ton of them. Got some boxing. Got an ET. <laughs> sure you do. Yeah, we actually had an exhibition. Oh, look at that. We, uh, we went out to New Mexico and uh, dug them all up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're somewhere in the desert there, aren't they? So then these are uh, 360. Yeah. Okay, so these are more modern games. Yeah, not a big selection, but yeah. when you have GameStop, it <laughs> three of them. And yes. each corner. Uh, and these are a lot of uh, original Xbox games. Yes. Yeah, we're one of the few that take Xbox games. GameStop stopped carrying that last year, so now we have them. And these are PS, uh, PS2 games. GameCube. Rebel Strike. Dreamcast. Love the system right here. Sonic Adventures. Way ahead of its time. Grand Theft Auto 2. That's cool. Yeah, it was way ahead of its time. And then you got the original PS1 games. There are some that are real cool on their side of this. And we got some. Oh, Zavik Sport. That's cool. You don't see that every day? <laughs> and we also have like a rare game section back there for the PlayStation and Saturn. I know, right? Marvel vs. Capcom. Good stuff. Take it for a ride. Oh, that's awesome. Cool. Right on. Yeah. Classic. Like all these box N64 games, too. You don't see those ever so often, too. You get a whole bunch of box. Super Nintendo. Box Genesis and Box Nintendo. This is incredible. Cool. Virtual Boy controllers. <laughs> Cartridges. I love Shadow of the Empire. It's awesome. Perfect Dark is classic too. Zelda. Zelda. Mm -hmm. Banjo Kazooie. Yeah. More Box Nintendo games. Well, uh, did you have. A ton of box Genesis games. This is a good one. Jurassic Park. I like this game actually quite a bit. Edition yeah. or the original? Uh, the original. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, Eternal Champions. This game's so hard. Oh, oh, oh. sorry. Uh, no, it wasn't yours. Classic Nintendo games. TNC Surf, I really like that game. Skate or Die, classic. I just like the skateboarding part. Surfing part was too, so hard. Too hard. Yeah. Turtles. Touch us. What's the rarest item you've gotten in? Recently or just, just ever? Yeah, since you were here. Oh, man. 
Well, we have uh, seen Air Raid Air on Raid. Atari 2600. Uh, that's like a $3,000 Atari game. Wow. Um, uh, what's the, uh, like, Quattro Sports or something? Quattro Sports? Oh, for Nintendo? On Nintendo, yeah. yeah. They actually have that right now at our San Antonio store. Wow. Yeah. What's, that, what's that selling for? I know. That's the crazy. Virtual on sticks. That's yeah, we just got that, that in pre recently the first Saturn. Cool. Uh, Steel Battalion. For oh yeah, so it's just Xbox. Yeah. yeah, yeah, awesome. That's cool. Uh, actually, our store in South Austin has a, a Bible Adventures game on Game Boy Color, and that's like a three hundred dollar game. Yeah, that's a rare one for the, the uh, color. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, it's amazing what people trade in. Things, man. We've seen some things. I'm envious of you guys' jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Bases load. I love how you can charge them out in this game. Yeah, but that's not the best baseball game ever. No, baseball stars. Ah, no, RBI baseball. RBI baseball is good too. RBI baseball. Uh oh. I like baseball stars. Throw down. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll charge them out. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Show them some love for the Master System. Master System? What's that? Right? Uh, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> uh, you got some uh, Intellivision games. Kind of represent? a lot of box, yeah. yeah. We try to display a little bit of everything as much as possible, like the television, master system, just to expose these obscure systems to everybody. Yeah. It's yeah. like kids come in, and like, oh, what is this? Uh, it's a second master system. Yeah. Uh, there was a system before the Genesis? Yes, there was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Hey, you know, exactly. that's, uh, that's one of the reasons people even come in and why people like the store so much. It's just when you walk in the door, you're like, wow, look at these old Atari games. Yeah. You, you know, and you can just see the artwork on, you know, Pac-Man and Donkey Kong yeah. and stuff, and and it's really something. Cool. It, it, it's a trip. People come in and always say, "Oh man, it's like a, a time trip machine. down time machine, trip time down machine, memory yeah. lane." And it's like your childhood is here. Yeah. I, I appreciate guys. You you let me uh, hang out and, and do well, some yeah, filming in your shop and in, man. fantastic uh, fantastic store. You'll see me here multiple times. I guarantee you. Oh, <laughs> Anything else you want to add uh, before I take off? Well, uh, I don't know. not much, really. Just thanks for coming in, man. Gameovervideogames.com. Gameovervideogames.com. Right. Uh, you'll learn about our events uh, through their page. We also have a web store and other locations. Do you guys sell stuff online? Yes, yes we do. Do you yeah, ship internationally? Or do you ship internationally or do you ship uh, uh, nationally? Uh, not I, internationally. Okay. No, it's okay. just... Okay, people are going to ask at that. At least not yet, anyway. Not yeah. yet. We're not... Um, but, I don't know, maybe, uh... I mean, we're, we're more the retail side of it. You know, we don't handle the uh, the online store, but who knows? Maybe you, uh, you send an email in, maybe maybe we'll make an exception for you. There you go. Right on, guys. Maybe we'll send to Alaska. Canada. <laughs> Those count. are two separate count, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, guys. Thanks for your time. Well, yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Mel. Take care.